Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I am here with this week's reading for Monday, May 12th through Sunday, May 18th. It's pouring down rain here in Michigan. So any rumbling you hear, there's a lot of thunder and lightning, and it's really dark. I hope we have enough light for this. Um, the sun is in Taurus. It's spring, and things are beginning to take root. You desire to create a strong foundation of security at this time. Change has been happening around you this past month with the Grand Cardinal Cross. Um, and those new ideas are finding their flow in your life as things begin to settle down around you. What you were focusing on at the new moon on April 29th is now coming to fruition with the full moon this Wednesday. This full moon in Scorpio will emphasize transformation in your life. Allow the ideas that the Grand Cardinal Cross made you aware of to actually change your life for the better. Change is necessary for goodness to find you. You can't stay in the same place and still embrace all the goodness and expansion that seeks to enrich your life. Also, Mars has been retrograde since March 1st and will be going direct on next Monday, May 19th. So use this week to process any lingering issues you may have around assertiveness, aggression, and sexuality. Make it a point of communicating with and including anyone who is important in your life at this, in this process, the people who are around you. This will finally move along with your understanding of these areas. You know, also if you can use this time to journal about your own inner thoughts and processes for being assertive, handling aggression, and expressing spirituality. You'll be able to honor yourself and your feelings and be honest with yourself and those around you. This honesty and vulnerability will allow things to shift and finally successfully remove any issues you may have in these categories. Use the Mars retrograde to benefit your growth. So that's a lot going on this week. And um, I have used Archangel Michael cards during Virtue. These just jumped out for me this week. So um, we're using those. Here's Michael on the back of the card. The first row, again, is money. The second row is your success. And the third row is your well-being for this week. So I love the money row. It's shield yourself, eternal love, and pay attention to your dreams. I might even pick up two of these. This is really important energy. This is about allowing. So if there are things that you're afraid of, ask Archangel Michael to help you. Say a prayer to him. Asking him to protect you, protect your loved ones, anything in your life that you feel is vulnerable or threatened right now. Money is energy, but if you feel that you aren't completely safe, that you don't have that security that the sun in Taurus and the springtime, putting down those roots, creating the foundation for the rest of the things you want to bring in for you. This also goes with this eternal love. When you recognize that you are surrounded by love, you always are, that you can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. And that's the same thing as money. If you know that you're safe, you know you're protected, you will be more available to receive, express, and give money. The third card for money is pay attention to your dreams. 
Um, I love this. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Every night when you get in bed, tell all the guides and angels around you to thank you for a restful sleep. Thank you for letting me sleep now. That'll help you shut down that constant wheel of thoughts that's trying to get your attention. So around money, invite Archangel Michael into your dreams as a teacher, guide, and healer. Allow Archangel Michael to help you understand whatever situation it is in your life that's not allowing money to flow into your life. Allow Archangel Michael to help you open up that energy and bring money into your life. So the second row is your success this week. We have sense of humor, explore your options, believe and trust. Beautiful message for success. I love sense of humor. To me, there's nothing better than raising the energy, lightening the vibration with humor. Everything's funny. I mean, if you can laugh at, you know, at human nature and the things going on around you, you'll get a better perspective. You'll lighten things. You'll open up the flow for the success that you want in your life. Um... It's all about that new perspective to attract the love and the healing and career and all the things that you define as success in your life that you're trying to bring in right now. Explore your options. So Archangel Michael is going to help you. Dear God, thank you for my wisdom and love helping me to see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Very important phrase right there. You are surrounded by choice. We can view it as change, but it's also positive. It's you making the choices that please you the most. Because when you follow that positive energy, you're guaranteed to find your success. Um... Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life purpose. Use the energy. Communicate with all those loving guides and entities around you that are trying to bring this goodness into your life. And this goes right along with believe and trust. And again, this is another affirmation for before you go to sleep. Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. What a beautiful prayer. And it goes perfectly with the card right above it. So pay attention to your dreams this week. Use your dreams. Use that sleeping time when you get out of your own way. You're not resisting when you're asleep, which is why symbolism in dreams is so important. The bottom row, which is your well-being, we've got romance angels are helping you, guarded and protected. Positive thoughts create positive results. So this is lovely for your well-being this week. This is a beautiful prayer. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and myself for love, for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly in intimate relationship. This is beautiful energy for your well-being. The preparation, the making changes to allow this energy to flow into your life. The recognition. Soulmates are people who have been with you for eons. And they're people that you have made pre-life agreements with. 
So when you meet them, there's what I call a marker. There's something familiar about them. It can be the way they laugh or their smell or just something that you recognize as intensely and deeply familiar. And when you do feel that marker, engage with it. Say hello. Start the process and allow that energy to flow into your life. Guarded and protected. This goes with the first two cards of shield yourself and eternal love in the money row. So for your well-being and every area of your life, realize that you are guarded and protected. And if you need extra protection, call in the archangels. Call in Michael. Call in all the archangels. You don't even have to know what it is that they stand for. Ask them to surround your house. Visualize an archangel in every corner of your house, protecting you and protecting your loved ones. You know, as loved ones leave your house and go on off about their day, imagine an archangel following them and protecting them. So you know that you're always safe, your needs are always met, and you can accept and allow help. You, you are not alone. You're surrounded by so much help. So allow that to benefit you. Use the energy. Um, positive thoughts create positive results. This is your well-being. And this card, I love how the card in the lower right-hand corner, to me it just flows up. And it applies to every part of these readings during the week. So divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and every situation. This is true. Nothing is random. The people who are in your life, the people who cross your path, the events, the situations, they're all there to benefit you for your growth. Even the things that seem uncomfortable or unnecessary, when you look back on them, you can understand how they benefited you. So positive thoughts create positive results. Your thoughts create your reality. So pay attention to what you're thinking about. Allow goodness and positive, happy things, the things that you want, the things that you're pleased about to build in your life. Give your worries and your stress. This week, give them to Archangel Michael. And enjoy the full moon energy. Plant your roots. Create your secure foundation. Allow the grand cardinal cross ideas to settle into your life and use the mercury retrograde to finally process your feelings around aggression, assertiveness, and sexuality. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.